Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Quick unboxing and then following up after this, I'll be getting a shower and a shave ready for work. So I'll probably video that as well, get the old head trimmed in, neck and cheeks, as you can see the beard is flying through. So the box is here. This came super fast. When was it sent out? It was sent out on the 27th of the 9th. It is from Connaught Shaving and I'm looking forward to opening it up. Now there's not a lot, a whole heap in here for me per se, but there is a bit in here for the wife because she absolutely loves these products and they worked extremely well and I picked one up for my daughter as well who is now sort of going through that puberty stage where she gets lots of sort of spots and things like that so I am teaching my daughter the way of traditional shaving as well so she will be moving into from cartridge razors onto safety razors so that's where we're sort of going with this now I screwed up with the order, I was supposed to order two specific soaps and I ended up ordering the wrong scents but anyway, as it is, I have got these are for the wife and my daughter so it is Wickham 1912 Glycerin Face Soap Classic 24, two Classic 24s and there should be another one in here, there is and this one is for the wife mainly, English Rose which is my wife's favourite flower and it actually smells quite nice these value for these are rock hard like really hard value for money wise i bought one of these did i buy one i didn't buy one one was sent to me from darren over at wickham as a thank you in january my wife has used it every single day twice a day since january and it just ran out about a week and a half ago two weeks ago so i tried to get these in before it ran out but it didn't so that gives you an idea of longevity on that tiny little bar of soap tiny 45 grams lasts absolute ages. I'll probably try and buy some more as well. I don't believe Darren's making these anymore, sadly. I might have to hit him up and see if he can sort me some out anyway. I picked up a couple of packets of, just to try them, just for travel as well. Little alum sticks, they're like little matchsticks. You can just see them in there. You snap them off, one time use, chuck it in the bin. Brilliant, cheap as chips. Right, now two soaps, which I have been keen to get in the den for a while. I am very much into gourmand scents. This one here is Phoenix and Bow V60 and it is a tallow based soap as you can see there is all the ingredients right there. Now Phoenix and Bow make beautiful soaps. This label is actually stunning. I didn't think the label was going to be so nice. It looks like brushed aluminium. Oh, you can see that there. It's like a brushed aluminium. Really nice looking label. Very very minimalistic. V60 Phoenix and Bow logo and that's it. Let's have a smell. This According to Kerry over at Phoenix and Bow, it smells exactly like I'm going to enjoy it. So, oh, lovely! It's like a chocolate coffee, like a sort of mochaccino, sort of cappuccino, sort of scent. There's a little bit more going on. There. It's quite an earthy sort of darkness as well to it. Really, really nice. It's quite a firm soap. It looks quite soft the way it's sort of swelled in there, but it's reasonably firm. I can't wait to use that. Now it'll be a choice between this and the other soap in this tub which I'm about to get out now. Now as you guys probably know, my team of choice in soccer when it comes to internationals at the moment is Portugal because Scotland are absolute shit. I like to follow someone when the World Cup and the European Championships comes along, unfortunately Scotland never make it. So I chose Portugal. So I wanted to get some more Portuguese products in the den. Now, as you guys are aware, I do like Samoke brushes. I like the look of them. I like the knots as well. Really, really nice brushes. And I do not have and have never used, I think, I might have used one product. In fact, no, it was Spanish. So I haven't used a Portuguese shaving soap or cream. So I picked this one up based on the scent, the look of it, and the reviews. And it is Portus Kale. So this one is the Citrus Cedar and Amber Shaving Soap, made in Portugal. Now let me just have a look at the ingredients here. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure whether this is okay. So looking at the ingredients, it looks like it is a vegetal based soap. It doesn't look like it's got any tallow in it. Any tallow? Let me just have a quick squeeze. No. So 5.5 ounces of non tallow soap or vegetal soap or whatever you want to call it. I'll pop this out. It's quite heavy. This. It was almost to the point I thought it was going to be a glass jar. 
No, it's plastic, definitely plastic. <laughs> it's bloody heavy. It comes with a little instructions, business instructions, is it? Shaving soap, citrus cedar and amber, foaming into a rich and creamy lather, this handmade shaving soap enriched with moisturising lanolin provides the comfort of a traditional professional shaving traditional professional shaving and leaves skin soft and irritation free. So the brushing hot work tells you how to use it, little instructions booklet, which is quite nice. You know, some people do pick these things up and it is written in pretty much every language that you could possibly want. A lot of people out there might never have used a brush and a soap before, so it is ideal sometimes just to have that little bit of extra information on there for you. Okay, first gripe straight away. The label is off centre. That pisses me off. It's only fractionally off centre, but I can see it. It's enough to annoy me. Right, the lid has got a matte effect feel to it. The rest of the tub is obviously shiny. You've got your ingredients on the bottom as well. Citrus, cedar and amber tells you again. And the batch number on the bottom. Now let's have a sniff. Oh, nearly threw that away. What was that? That was an extra cap lid. That's really nice. That's lovely. Now that looks... I'm pretty sure that is a melt and pour. Pretty damn sure that's melt and pour. So it's got glycerin in it. it. Does have glycerin. So this looks like a melt and pour glycerin soap. It is very, very hard. I can't even push my finger into it. It's rock hard. Rock hard. I can't even leave a, a fingerprint on it. But it's a very nice scent. And I think it'll probably be the scent that I go for today, I think, for my face shave and my... I might even use it for the head shave as well. Glycerin-based soaps generally are quite slick and excellent for head shaves as well. The box that the Poser Scale comes in is a very, very nice embossed box. Beautiful looking thing. But what it is, it's quite expensive, but not too expensive. So, that being said, I'm going to get off the camera, stuck into the shower, out and get my shave done. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Cheers.